they cancelled for two days and they're saying it might even be cancelled the day after yeah, and by yeah. the look of that flood down there it's wiped the whole village out Morning, I'm trying to get going, and this is what I'm getting off these two. We've got the sh from the malarial tablets. <laughs> Me and Harold have had the worst nights <laughs> any white man in Africa has ever had. This was probably, hands down, Mate, let's the stop. worst hotel I've ever stayed at, apart from the hotel that you picked last night. So Simon, you f***ed up with this one. Last night was on you. Tonight, it's on me. I'm picking hotels. We're not going to get to the hotel if you don't hurry up. Right, slight change of plan this morning. Apparently the road that we're going on to Jinka has been washed away, so we can't take the car. So we're gonna leave the car here. The guy we've rented it off, Nat, is actually driving down from Addis today to pick it up. So we gave him a call last night, so at least that's worked out. So we're actually gonna fly to Jinka. To be honest though, I'm glad we're flying. That um, road's well, horrendous. I mean, there's no other option, so I suppose it is what it is. But, uh, but even if it wasn't, we've been doing what, 50 miles an hour all the way here? Yeah, the road's If yeah. that? The road's, it's not the road's are bad condition it's just the donkeys the people the yeah. goats just make sure everything's out of here what has harold been doing in the back harold's a disgrace he doesn't respect the got everything yeah it was just my sweater she's done us proud see you later golden toyota you got us here despite simon's driving the flight to jinka has cost us 38 euros each 38 euros each and the yes. flight is 35 minutes honestly i'm so glad we're flying i feel so rough with Do my you? stomach, with those malarial tablets. Serious. First day I took on, I was a bit ropey, but I've been all right after that. Really? The airport is 12 minutes away, so we're gonna jump in a taxi now. Gonna have to leave the keys or reception for the car. Are you good to go? Ready to jump in a taxi? Yeah, ready. 100% snow no flight to There's no flight. Oh. We didn't know, we didn't know, no one told us. How, how long does it take to drive to Jinka from here? Is it four hours or five, five hours? Five hours driving from here. We need to think about that, so thank you for telling us. Yeah, thank you very much, thank you. Well, the airport's 12 minutes away, so is it, is it worth just going there? It's going to be like a quid in a taxi. We'll go and check it out, and then we'll see what's what. To are. Cheers, thanks. You want to go to the airport? Yes, please. Right, we're going to the airport now. <laughs> what do you reckon? Do you reckon this flight's going to be on or not? Get back, get back. I reckon it's on. Do you reckon? 50-50. They've said it's not in the hotel. It doesn't say anything online that it's cancelled, and I haven't had an email either. So I genuinely hope to God this flight is still on. No flight? Yeah. No flight? Yeah. Is that what he's saying? He says like give up. Let's go and see. Is he saying no flight? Is he? He's saying yes flight. Ah, uh, one more tunnel. No. Water. One more. Water on runway. Uh, oh, the water's on the runway. Was it comfortable that chair? Oh, beautiful. My back's great now. Right, we're gonna have a look. Yeah, let's go and check. Right, we're at the airport now. It's not looking good to be honest. Probably the smallest airport I have ever been to. Let's go and have a look. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Uh, is there flights going today? No, no, no it's cancelled. Cancelled all day? No, because of the flood. Ah, uh, there's a flood. flood. Are they flying tomorrow? Yeah, even not in the also cancelled. Tomorrow, what about the day after? Not sure, because of the flood. Yeah, not sure. Do you think it will be cancelled the day after, or? Maybe, yeah. Maybe, yeah. Because they're more late. So, are the, are the flights going from Addis to Jinka? Yes, it is, yes, for Jinka. Ah, okay, Jinka, yes, just no Arba, Arba Minj. Ah, okay, thank you so much for your help. We're kind of screwed then. We're knackered, aren't we? But the thing is, mate, they cancelled for two days, and they're saying it might even be cancelled the day after. Yeah, and by yeah. the look of that flood down there, it's wiped the whole village out. We're gonna have to cab it somewhere, get a car. But it's going from Jinka, so we're gonna have to try and get to Jinka. But Jinka's like a five hour drive. More. Yeah, more. but the road's washed out as well, that's why the floods are there. Ball, do you know them floods down there? That's why the road will be washed out as well. So the road's washed out and there's no planes. Can you take us to Jinka? Off road on this. What's wrong with this? I think this will go to Jinka a dream. To drive on this road, you haven't seen like unpaved roads. Let's go back to the hotel. Let's do it. Hotel, hotel, hotel. Right, we're back on the couch in the hotel. What are we doing? We're calling the high guard. Our flight to Jinka was cancelled. If you want, we can drive like and meet the driver somewhere on the road to Addis, maybe in Sodo, or so we can like, meet him like almost halfway. Because our flight is cancelled for two days, the airport is completely destroyed. The guy is already almost close to Arbemen. 
Ah, uh, he's almost close? Okay, cool. We'll wait for him here. Okay, so we'll probably come back with him. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, yeah, we'll come back to Addis. How long until he's here about? What do you think, after how long, roughly? Yeah, so it's looking like we're going to go back to Addis then, isn't it? One or two hours. So the guy's close to here then, is he? He's about one or two hours. Yeah, that could be three. But well, the drive back to Addis is like, what, eight hours? Yeah, so we should just start driving now. We can go into town for a ground and stuff. We can leave our bags in the car. Or you can take the car into town. Yeah. And go and walk around and do whatever. Right, so plan now. The guy who owns the car is driving down here to meet us, and then we're going to drive back up with him to Addis. So the plan was obviously to go more south, but that ain't happening now. Travelling sometimes is not straightforward. It's gutted that. I wanted to go down south to see the tribes, but it doesn't look like it's happening. We're going to jump back in the car. We're going to go into the town centre and see if we can get some food. I haven't eaten properly for three days. It probably wouldn't do me any harm, to be honest. Harold, this pizza place best be good, mate. We are luck. It wouldn't surprise me if they're Bankrupt. <laughs> Mr. Ball is back in the driver's seat. Oh God! You're taking your life in your own hands. Put your foot um, on the clutch. I, I would just I would put just your like foot on the clutch and the uh, brake. I've put it in gear so it doesn't it was, roll back. Is it accelerator on the right? Yeah, accelerator on the right. Brake. Yeah. So. There you Where's go. reverse? But well, I can remember how to drive. Anything behind us? Whoa. Whoa. Watch out, Africa. There's a YouTuber behind the wheel. Where are we off to now then? What's it called? We are going to Rosa Pizza Restaurant. And since I am the navigator, we're probably actually going to get there. Seeing as though Harold's the navigator, it's probably going to be rubbish. How, how are you finding the car? Hey, a real man behind the wheel. I know how to drive oh, yeah. the roads of Africa. Don't you worry about me. Oh, here we go. We're going off road, yeah? Hello. Hey. I haven't driven for a long time. You need to move out the way, little man. You need to move out the way. You're in the road. Wow. Oh, they're attacking a car. Wow. Hey, we're getting we're under attack. Do I run over someone's foot? <laughs> no. That's good. Oh, you, watch you out. You okay? And you're missing so many oh, you just ran her over. Oi, 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 oi. You go, you're going left. Into uh, well, the ditch. basically, yeah, that's what you're doing. You're not going up that ramp, are you? Where are oh, you no, going no, there, he's Harold? Going there. Look, his, na his navigational skills are look, absolutely... Look, look, on the map, right, right, there's yeah. a left turn here. Listen, okay, we're going up that's where you're going. Okay. Look, okay. navigation. cut off the road. Ah, uh, horrendous. How are we going to go to the pizza place? What the hell is this? <laughs> Who put me in Don't charge? go there. Don't Keep going straight. Don't hit that old woman. Keep going straight. I'm going left or what? You can't go left of their ball. You'll end up in the ditch. This is what you get when you leave. For the driving to these two. Leave it to me to navigate and get us safe. These the two are horrendous. You guys are a disgrace. Thank God I'm behind the way. At least we feel safe, right, Harold? Yeah, I feel Have very I safe. Commandeered. This is the safest I've felt the whole trip. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> We're looking for the world's greatest pizza, according to TripAdvisor, in a town called Arbaminge. And the owner is called Paolo. Right, which way am I going around about? Uh, all the way around and left. All the way around and left. Yep. Yeah. Right. Look at Arbaminge. Well, where are you going, mate? You can't just, like, do that. You have to respect the ball band behind the wheel. Yeah. Uh oh, there's a it. copper up there. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sorry, people of Africa, of um, Arbaminge. Okay, you're going straight. Just Good. follow this road okay. for five minutes and we'll be at Rosa Pizza Restaurant. Any money, Harold gets this wrong. Can, can I, I never get just anything say, wrong? Can I just say something? I don't know what Simon's constantly complaining about with the driving. It is easy to drive in Africa. Look, I've been behind the wheel one minute and I'm already at one with the natives. So they, they give you drive me the whole country, this guy gets behind the wheel for one minute and it's, it's easy. Might drive us back to Addis. I've not got a good yeah, feeling about this, have you, Walt? Pizza not. Rosa Hotel. Okay. Italian pizza. Where is it? Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah, that looks Italian great. Pizza. Show it, Simon. <laughs> Show that sign. looks absolutely <laughs> amazing. Hey. It's got pizza it's got on a bit of card. Pizza. Stop, oh, stop hating on the Italian pizza here. Harold, this is the pizza place. There we go. I found it. Harold, we can't it stop it. Oh my god. I reckon we go back and get chicken teriyaki. You don't want to eat it? Yeah, I'm okay. No, I don't. Okay. You want pizza? No. Harold's not too keen anymore, is he? Now we've turned to... up. You your pizza restaurant? haters. Yes. Harold, you failed with the pizza. Good work. I found it, did I? <laughs> not my fault that you didn't want to eat there. Paolo makes the greatest pizza in southern Ethiopia. Our driver has just arrived. See you later, nice to meet you. How are you, my friend? I'm fine. Simon, nice to meet you. What's your name? Abush. Abush. I can drive you now. I can drive for you if you want. You want me yeah. to drive? You want, you want me to drive? Yes. All the way to Addis? Ah, uh, you want to rest? Yeah. Oh, okay. How did you get here? How did you arrive in this town? Into Arbamin. Now yes. in by bus. How many hours? Half day. Oh. What time did you go? Around five. Five in the morning. Yes, wow. fast with the bus then. Eight yes, hours. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. hey guys. You must have been crazy driving. Yes. Flipping heck, how many times we put our stuff in this car today? 
I am so tired and for a change, Mr. Bald is driving. Have you found the drive? Bloody better than you. I mean, we haven't hit one speed bump. We've not had any near misses. We're getting a good rate of knocks on. We I haven't mean... had any near misses. <laughs> Speed that was the first speed bump we've got hit <laughs> up, How long's the drive back to Addis? 12 hours has been ridiculous. Which is the next town we're hitting, Harold? Uh, I think it's called Sodo. Are we going to stop and get petrol there? Yeah. Oh, I, I haven't introduced you to our new friend. A bus just think... come all the way down from Addis to get the car, even though Bold's driving, because he's the worst driver, we all want to rest. Here we go. How good is this petrol station? In the middle of Ethiopia. What's it called? The Taf. The Taf Mart. It looks pretty rough, this, doesn't hotel. it? She she said the hotel is that a hotel yeah, as well? Like a block hotel. of flats? Yeah. I wonder how much petrol is here. Uh, Bush, which side is the petrol pump? This side, this side. I Hot. think it is not working. <laughs> Great gas station sign. Well, it doesn't work. Let's go to the next one. The heavens have opened. You yeah. can't see a thing. It is coming up on the right now. It doesn't even look like it's moving here. Is anybody actually putting Petrol. Thank you. Full? How much is it? 1700 already. What's 1700? A tenner's 500, so what? 34 quid? All done? Good, cheers, thanks. We're good to rock and roll. And we're back at the hotel, not the result we wanted to be honest, was it? It's been an absolute disaster day. In some ways, in other ways, it was kind of fun. You know, yeah. we got to see Jesus Fest, Bald was assaulted by malaria. Yeah, and you left me get caught by the police. Uh, but at the same time, I discovered that I'm probably Ethiopia's greatest donkey rider. <laughs> you know, this was a great trip. We've had fun as always, but at the same time, it's been a tough one, this one, isn't it? It's a rough place to travel down in the provinces. Hotels are a little bit, well, not the best. The food is hard to find. There's been no McDonald's for you. I know, that's, but that's been the biggest struggle, to well, be honest. I'll be honest with you. I mean, it's better than sitting home in lockdown somewhere. I've had a good time. Yeah, 100%. So what do you two think of Ethiopia? I've learned that it's a place you cannot just rock up and expect everything to work out. You know, planes are cancelled, roads vanish, you check into a hotel and you think you're going to get a good night's sleep, you may not be able to sleep at all because there's a Jesus fest going on outside. Or there's full window. of mosquitoes. Or you get attacked by malaria. So you need to plan your Ethiopia. Uh, journey if you're gonna come here. Um, I don't even think you can plan it though. Probably not. Things yeah. are gonna go wrong. Well, I had fun. I enjoyed it. Yeah, 100%. And what about you, Bob? Distances are big. Roads are terrible. Probably the worst place I've been for food. But I've had a good time. Glad to hang out with you guys again. Yeah, 100%. So, uh, yeah, it was fun. So we've done Mexico. We've done Ethiopia. What would you guys choose as the next destination? Good question. Let me know where you're thinking down below, but it is good to be back. It's good to get on the road again and not be in lockdown. But until next time, have a good one. I'll see you soon.